Hey there everybody, it's Amber Love and tonight I am talking to you about my very first trip to Exotica and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's an adult porn convention and it happens to be held right here in Edison, New Jersey. So this was my first time going to anything like this and I ventured out and did it by myself. Um, it's probably not a good idea to do that sort of thing by yourself, but I'll tell you why later. So I basically had two objectives, and it was to meet uh, Tori Black and Lexi Bell, and that's because they star in the Batman Triple X, which um, I finally got to see a couple weeks ago, and it actually is a lot of fun. So first thing, as soon as I walk on the door, first of all, Friday night is ladies free, so I literally just like walked in, got stamped, and went right in. And the first person I see is, is Tori Black. She's right there at a booth. There was only one other person in line. And she is truly just so sweet and nice to talk to. I was expecting this, like, kind of, I don't know, big plasticky sort of persona. And she was just lovely. Very, very sweet, very easygoing, and just really nice to talk to. Um, so I ended up picking up from her the uh, Porn Star Superheroes, which was uh, also recommended. I was told not really as good as the Batman movie, but I haven't seen this, so I figured I'd pick it up anyway. Um, I guess it all depends on what you like. Um, <laughs> she did tell me, she goes, and in this one, I keep the suit on the whole time. <laughs> she's just so funny, the way that she's, she said that. And um, so I mentioned to her that I was, I was also there to see Lexi Bell, and she pointed me in that direction. And the funny thing is, is how excited both of them are, are <laughs> um, to see my boobs which I thought was really funny. I'm like, you guys are around boobs all the time. And it's like, okay. So um, anyway, I have a couple pictures over at the blog. You can check that out. And there's links there as well. And let's see. So after I got to talk to, to Lexi Bell, who was literally this teeny, itty bitty little thing, like you just want to pick her up and like keep her as a pet. Um, really, really sweet girl. Uh, and they were both so nice about, you know, taking pictures with everybody, and they were just in incredibly gracious. So uh, I had no idea that there was also an auto show as part of the Exotica Con, and I was surprised. So I'm walking around, and I see this, like, really breathtaking car, and it had a great paint job with these sort of warrior chicks on it. So I just I snapped a few pictures around that car, and then I saw that there was a whole entire section of cars. And as I was walking around taking pictures of that, then I stumbled upon this um, large vendor area, which was a company that did custom motorcycles. And there was one in particular that caught my attention, and it was an old Wild West theme uh, poker bike. So it actually had some sort of, I know nothing about poker, so bear with me, either like a flush, I don't know, some sort of winning hand inside the gas tank area. And I tried to get some good pictures of it, but it was really hard because it was roped off. So that's over at the blog, too. You can go see that. Um, there's, you know, you're walking around. It's not a huge show, not like, um, you know, I'm used to something like New York Comic Con. It's nothing like that. But for the uh, expo hall, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty nice, you know. It's enough to, there's definitely enough to see. And you're walking around, and all of a sudden, they'll just be like random mattresses with models on them. Okay, sure. So you can stop and you can get your picture taken with them. Plenty of poles all around. And um, the most interesting one I thought was this swing, girls on the, on a swing, which I thought was really cool because it was there was only one of those. And they have, um, obviously there's like VIP tickets so you can go to the after parties. I wasn't about to do that by myself. So as I'm walking around, I came across a, a booth that had these really beautifully just beautifully made corsets and that's called timeless trends and again you know and I took a couple pictures um, and the link is over at the blog so you can find more information there it's a company out of Texas and they do uh, you know travel around and do other shows um, so let's see so as I'm standing around I'm just like leaning against a wall and tweeting you know of course I was tweeting my entire experience and Ron Jeremy shows up, and he's two feet from me. So I was just like, oh, hey, Ron Jeremy, click, and, uh, you know, put that up there. But um, really what I noticed was how considerate people were around him. They really did keep, like, this uh, 
five, six foot distance and kept a nice perimeter around him. And then, you know, one by one, people just went up, they took their pictures and he smiled the whole time. He seemed really cool about it. And, um, you know, but it was during, it was during that time that um, some random stranger came up and decided to fondle my leg. Um, just like grabbed my thigh and like stroked my thigh and I was in the middle of a tweet or a text and had my hands been free, um, he might have lost a few fingers. Let me just say that I don't know what on earth gives somebody the idea that they think that that's okay because it's just not. Um, I was asked a lot of times to have my picture taken and I do it with pleasure. I stop and I will put my arm around anybody and I will smile for every picture. I will certainly try to anyway. But, you, you know, you just don't go up to somebody and touch them without asking. So I don't care what the guy's cover story was that he wanted to know what kind of fabric this is because it's complete bullshit. Um, you know, but it was, it was enough to make me leave the show. Um, I don't have ill feelings towards the show or anything like that, and I, I don't feel that I was, like, horribly violated, but it was just enough that, you know, hey, I was there by myself and didn't want to continue to be there by myself since that had happened. So, um, with any luck, next year, the Cosplay Deviants or, you know, maybe just myself and a, and a photography partner will be there and have our own booth, something like that. But, you know, definitely being, you know, amongst a group would, would be a whole lot more fun, first of all. And certainly just, you know, you're kind of there and you have each other's back, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, so I was very happy. I got my autographed DVDs from Lexi and Tori and um, made some connections. So I hope you uh, check it out. Keep, uh, you know, obviously checking my schedule and everything, and I'll let you know if I'm there again next year. And um, let's see, so the next year 2011 schedule I'm working on, but I will definitely be at the CGS Super Show. So, uh, of course, if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave them. Send me a private message if you need to. Meanwhile, check out amberunmasked.com or the blog and all of the other information for the hyperlinks and whatnot. And, um, you know, that's basically, uh, that was, that's my experience at my first Exotica. Thanks for watching.